that. Oh, my friend, there is much more to know of Minsk's homeland than he could ever put into words. Okay, he's his homeland. Bull might fare better, but his home is far stranger again. Well, okay. in many ways, it is the very opposite of this city. The far side of Faerun, with empty plains, white forests, and peaks that pierce the very belly of the sky. Uh-huh. But it is like the city, too. Here, it is loud with the daily wailing of people. In Rashomon, it is also loud, if you know where to listen. The Telthors, guardian spirits of every root, rock, and tree. Here in the sleeping lands, they are silent, but... In the far north, they know how to speak still. It sounds like an amazing place. Why did you leave? The first time, my Dajema. A warrior's quest of proving. Minsk quickly proved that quests do not always go as the stories say. After wandering away and some savings of the sword coast, Minsk returned to Rashomon. To find a welcome fit for hamsters and heroes. <laughs> the Iron Lord himself came to bear witness to Boo. Minsk of Rashiman, said he, your Tajema is done. Minsk politely disagreed. Dinah here was dead, and so his Tajema could never be done. Then swear your service to me, Minsk of Rashiman, said he. Serve your land as your Lord's chosen champion. Minsk politely disagreed. It was a little awkward, but he had already sworn his service to Boo. <laughs> Minsk of Rashiman, said he. You insult your Iron Lord. We will settle this matter in the circle of combat. Okay. It was only polite for Minsk to agree. Uh, he killed After him, huh? they carried the Iron Lord away, the Council of Witches gave Minsk a pack of provisions and said it would be best if he continued his adventures for a time. Yes, Boo, that was before we were stoned. Perhaps we are due a little homecoming when all of this is done, no? Yep. 